Timeshares and vacation clubs. Everybody's heard about them. Let's talk about it and how it affects your destination wedding. Hi, this is Jack with Vacationies. I want to talk to you about something that's become a big issue for me personally is vacation clubs and timeshares at the resorts and in the destinations. So let's talk a little bit about what this is because how it affects you and your guests. So there are two different things. There are timeshares, which everybody's heard of. They're in Disney, in Vegas, and you're actually buying a deeded right to almost a week or a condo or a month or a specific time period at a resort. We have other things that are happening now that are vacation clubs. A lot of the resorts are offering these and what they're telling people is you're buying a future discount for your stay at that resort. Now some of these things are really good but most of them aren't because some of them will fix you into coming back to that resort some of them will allow you to trade points if you're a member or you bought a timeshare to something called RCI or Interval International where you can trade the points. But a lot of these have deceptive marketing practices and it may affect you or your guests. So let me talk to you about why I think it's something you have to watch out for. So the first thing that you see this is specifically in Mexico and Jamaica and Punta Cana is when you arrive at the airport if you've ever arrived at the airport in Cancun or Cabo or Vallarta, as you're leaving the airport and walking out, there are 50 to 100 very nice people that will be professionally dressed and will approach you. And they're going to ask you, where are you staying? Who's your transfer company? Do you need any help? And you're going to say, yes, of course, I'm going to this company. My travel professional is sending me here. I'm hosting my wedding there. And now they're going to start veering the conversation. How would you like an upgraded transfer? Would you like to get a limo? How about a helicopter ride? Would you like a free excursion? And now you're thinking, wow, these people are really nice. They must work for the government. And they may tell you they are because they may have name tags. Well, most of these people, 99% of these people are there to sell timeshare and vacation clubs. We tell our guests when they are leaving the airports, if these people approach you, say no thank you, no thank you, no thank you. Do not accept anything from them. Just see them and walk right past them. Continue walking, no matter if they offer you maps, discount books, whatever it is. That is the first time you're going to be approached, and it's overwhelming because you just got off a plane in a new country, and all of a sudden these people are here to help you. But please walk past them. Now, the next place you'll see this happen is when you are at the resorts. Some of the resorts have gotten very, very deceptive in what they're doing. Some of the resorts will offer you resort coupons, resort credits, discounts, or upgrades at arrival. Now here's the thing. If you're at the front desk and they offer these to you, and they offer them to you right there and then, they're probably legit. What we've seen at some of the resorts is they will tell you they have a coupon book for you or an upgrade, but you must go see my colleague over there. And as soon as they say that, that triggers to me, because I've had this happen to me, I've fallen for it, but I wanted to see what was happening, you're going to go see the vacation club guy. Now what they will do is tell you that they have a coupon book, you just have to see them at their office and maybe take a little bit of time so they can explain the book to you. Now, when you go to their office, they are going to sit you there and give you a 90-minute presentation on their vacation club. The other thing is, same thing with the timeshare, so we'll use those terms interchangeably, is that they will talk to you about why you should buy into their vacation club or their timeshare. One of the resorts recently, who we won't work with anymore because they've gotten so deceptive on this, is they will actually call your room and tell you you are invited to a manager's welcome cocktail party. And when you go to this cocktail party, they're going to have it in a little ballroom, it's going to be in a certain area, and they close the doors when they start it, and they will talk to you about their vacation club. So you just have to watch out for these things. Um, several weeks ago, I personally was at a resort. It was at low occupancy because of COVID, and I was sitting on the beach, 
and a gentleman came down to talk to me, and I always wanted to learn about, talk to the people at the resorts, and I thought he was from the spa, or he was from the restaurant, maybe making reservations. He sat on the edge of my chair, and next thing I know, he's trying to sell me their vacation club. So I got to talking to him, and he said it's been very slow, so his boss told him to go out and work the beach. So it's really rude to me that they are interrupting your vacation with these deceptive things. You are there on your wedding. You are asking your guests to come. So I, we tell our clients, if anybody approaches you, just say no. So I'm just telling you up front that as you travel to some of the resorts, do not get taken into some of these presentations of free cocktail parties, upgrade limo rides, um, managers cocktail parties. You always want to ask them if it seems too good to be true, it probably is, but just ask them, are there any, any, any reason I have to do this? What's the, what's the ticket here? I mean, why are you asking me to do this? Again, if they say, well, you're the bride and the groom, we want to upgrade you, fine. But typically that kind of stuff will come from the wedding department. So we will note to several clients that are going to different resorts, a watch out. Um, and again, I would just tell you, timeshares, vacation clubs, to me, not very good. And, but if you choose to do it, great, but you should know what you're getting into before you get into it. This is just some words of wisdom from Jack at Vacationees, and have a great day.